So now let us work around with the calendar app inside of Microsoft Windows 10, which comes pre-installed with Windows 10, of course. So once I go into the start menu, you can actually see a calendar right here. So if you don't see this, then what you can actually do is go into the search box right here, type in calendar, just like this. And once you do that, the calendar app appears. So once you open up the calendar right here, you can see that I'm on full screen mode. So if you're not on full screen mode, then I suggest you that you go and view full screen mode right there. So once you go to full screen mode, you can see that this is the calendar. So let's see the basic workaround of the calendar. So you can see the current date right over here that is you may be on today. If you were to go on day, then you get the day view right over here. On the left side, you actually see the month. And on the left side right here, as you can see, you have the calendar and birthday. So if you actually uh, have contact lists, then their birthdays, birthdays will sync up with this calendar and it'll show up right here. If you were to go on weeks, then you get to the week view right over here. And here you can see that you can also, you can view the whole week that is you see from Sunday to Saturday. But if you were to actually go over here and choose work week, then you can see from Monday to Friday right over here. So if you were to go to month, then you see just the month right over there. And if you were to go to year, then you see the whole year calendar just like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into uh, like day view right here. So let's start working around this or maybe in a week view. So now to work around with this and to add an appointment, let's say now you can see that uh, in the day view, this is divided among the time just like this. So you see everything out here. And then over here, there's 1 p.m., 3 p.m. and so forth. What you have to do to create a new appointment is simply click here. So once you click here, you can give an event name. So let's say you have something like an appointment right over here, like uh, go to client right here or for so something appointment like this. So you can choose the time range right here. And if it is a whole day event, you can of course take whole day. But uh, if it is just for the few hour, you can just select this and then select the time range right here. In the location, you can choose where you want to test it out. So you can also go over here and name your location as well. So let's say clients area right over here. And you can also set a reminder. So maybe you want, want to be reminded before 30 minutes. And if uh, you have uh, a, a mobile phone, then it'll actually remind you through um, your mobile phone as well if the calendars are synced up. So once you do that, I want to edit the calendar even more. So I'm going to go into more details right here. And once you go to uh, more details, you can see that uh, it, it, is, it says so as busy right over here. You can also invite someone. So if you have someone in your uh, contact, you can actually type in your email address, then it'll invite that person out for this particular event. So if you want to add in description, like go to solve the computer problem at client organization. So you can add in details such as this as well. So just like this, you can actually do that. Apart from that, you can have repeat as well. So that if, it's, if this is a weekly thing that you do, so you can actually go to repeat and then you can go for, okay, uh, weekly, also monthly or yearly. So there's bills to pay and everything, then you, can, you might want to do it monthly so that you don't forget. So you can also do every week, that is every one week, on Friday or every two weeks or every three weeks. So you can select uh, how much uh, you want it to repeat. So you can see that you can really add in the detail right over here. So I'm go just going to do every one week right over there, just like that. So once that's done, you can, uh, you can see right over here, you can set it to repeat and everything else and you can save it out. If you want to edit it further, now you can see a red area where the uh, event is there. So you can go to edit event and then uh, you can also go around in different areas and then do a re-edit. So you might want to change the um, icon for some reason, or you might want to change uh, something like this or star like that. And you can also change, make the changes according to uh, what you want and then simply save it out. So if you were to actually save this now, then it'll be saved out just like that. So since I set this as a weekly thing, so let's see what it, um, it actually did. So if I were to go to the week view and go to the next week right here, so you can actually go over here onto next one week, you can see that this is how it has been set right over here. Not previous week, but next week, you can see that if I were to actually go just like this, you can see that there's 
a lot more weeks, all that. If I were to go over here onto the month view, you can see that on the month view, you see this out as well. So just like this, there's go to client right over here on East Friday. Even in month view, you can simply click. And then when you click on month uh, and create an event, it says all day. So you have to actually check it off and then use the time. So because you didn't click on a particular time right there. You can also go to more details. Rest of the option are the same. Then the other thing that you can do is see the year view as well. So just like this, you can go on to any year, just like this, click on it and you get to the month for that, um, for that particular, uh, for that particular um, uh, month that you clicked on, just like this. So you can see that you can also access month right here, just like that. Even you can search for event like go to client right over here. Let's say, for example, uh, go to client and hit sets and you can see all the events related to go to client right over here so calendar is a very neat thing that you can actually manage add in all the details all the appointment and what this does is lets you not forget anything so right now you can see that you can see reminders you can see calendar birthdays so if you were to uh, set reminders from from cortana then you can actually see that over here as well if you don't want to see it you can just uncheck that out uncheck the events and you'll only see the events that you actually checked off just like this. So that is how you can actually work around with the calendar inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.